guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at hydro clash and there are so many problems with hydro clash i don't even know where to start so we're going to go through hydro clash but before that i just want to show you my clan so i'm in ung zephyr and um, boozer is actually my clan leader and we've got loads of insane players in the clan very very strong clan and you know people that have been in the game for a long time some mega whales and krakens um so yeah let's have a look at hydra and we'll go down to nightmare so we've got metho doing 5.8 billion by himself then we've got part lemon doing 3.5 billion uh, in brutal we've got toxy doing 3.5 billion this is insane you know, you've got 30 people in your clan and in most clans, you know, you just have that one player, that mega whale kraken, who's basically just carrying the entire team. And it just means that you're irrelevant. You are insignificant. I, I feel like an ant. No matter what I do, I am not contributing to anything. Three, well, yeah, three, well, actually, no, Nightmare, 5.8 billion. I can't even do that on normal, let alone on Nightmare. And say, for example, if we come down, I guess like say 40 million on Nightmare, that's pretty, that's respectable. We'll say that's a respectable score. If you got 30 people to do that, they wouldn't be able to beat Mitho. Mitho could beat an entire clan by himself. That makes no sense. The whole point of Hydro Clash should be bringing players together to work as a team to fight another clan. And... By doing this, all you have is, you know, three or four people fighting three or four people and everyone else just sits on the sidelines and just watches like an ant, literally doing nothing. Um, you know, personally, I'm not a big fan of uh, Hydro Clash. Um, I find it a bit boring, to be honest, but also I'm I can't no matter what I do, I'm bringing nothing to the table. So I guess then the next thing is. Champions and. Trunda, I mean, there was that rare that they nerfed into the ground for Hydra. Um, they were talking about nerfing Trunda. I don't think it actually happened in the end because they got massive backlash from the community. Um, you know, Trunda, she's very old school. She used to be god tier for Arena. Now, you know, she's not even in my top 20. Um, and she's literally just used for Hydra Clash. I don't think there's anywhere else people use her in the game, in Endgame anyway. So, you know, and if you ban get, you know, slapped her with the ban hammer, she wouldn't be using Hydro Clash anymore. She'd be pretty obsolete. What would you be doing with Trunda? Literally nothing. Um, and then I guess the other one was like Yumiko. So they were talking about um, nerfing Yumiko as well, because she was a big problem with these team comps that just sort of reset and smacked the heads. Um, but, you know, Yumiko, she's a void legendary She's obviously really hard to get, and anyone that pulls like a Yumiko will be so pumped. You know, she's bringing cooldown reduction on your skills. She can lock out the enemy. She is such a cool looking champion. She just ticks all the boxes. Why would you want to nerf such an awesome champion like Yumiko? So I don't feel like nerfing champions is the way. And, you know, you could nerf Trunda, you could nerf Yumiko, but then people find out find other team comps like uh, Wix and Yannicka. I mean, that's a pretty new team comp and it just absolutely destroys as Mytho showing. So, you know, I don't feel like nerfing champions is fixing the problem because people are just constantly coming out with new team comps, with new fusion champions, and there's always something changing in the game. So, it, you know, there's no point in going down that route. So I feel like the only way we could fix this is by just capping the the max that you can get in Hydra Clash. So if we come in here and I think, so I'm just sitting, I've only done one key on normal. We've done um, 524 mil. I feel like it should be capped at 1 billion. 1 billion should be the cap or 1.5 billion, but somewhere between there. I feel that, you know, that's very hard to achieve, especially if you're free to play. Um, obviously, the whales and krakens is no problem for them but for the rest of the team to really contribute to get 30 players that can get 1 billion points that is very hard to do and i feel like 
that means that everyone in the clan has to step up, get involved, and that would make Hydro Clash way more interesting than what it is right now, where it literally does just come down to one or two people just carrying your entire clan. But um, yeah, I don't think there's much else that you could do for that. Obviously, you have these like insane clans like Mad and all of that who are just on another level. I don't know what you do for them, but to be fair, there's probably only 20 of them. I don't have a problem with that. Is 20 clans, you know, I, even them. I don't think those 20 clans could probably get 30 insane players to reach 1.5 billion. But, you know, those 20 clans that are, you know, doing their own thing, they're like on another level, are nothing compared to the rest of the community. The rest of the community, you know, there's so many more clans and players that should be playing Hydra Clash, but they're not. And I just feel like this would be a way to get them involved. But that's my thoughts on uh, Hydra Clash. You guys let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace.